Hello. Today, finally, we are going to create items for a project. And for that, I should choose a project for which I uh, want to create items. I have multiple places in which I create items and I will show them. Okay, first of all, I can, when I'm here in my project, I can choose here plus sign and I can create bug or new work item. And here I can choose among epic, feature, issue, task, user story. Okay. Well, I can do it here, but I won't. But I will show you anyhow. Epic, let's create the epic. And you will see the screen will be opened. The same screen will be opened if we uh, uh, want to create, for example, epic in any other place. What, so what are they place? Where are they? Here on the boards, you will see that we have a lot of boards. So I should click on boards and I will he here have work items. In work items, if I'm here, you can click on new work item and you can choose as you could choose from here. Okay, you can choose here as well. What kind of item do you want to create? Bug, epic, feature, issue, etc., etc. Of course, I can go to boards. So let me show you boards and backlogs. Boards and backlogs are the same thing with different kind of view. If I go to backlog, okay, and if I go here and choose view as a board, you will see that my view will, uh, will jump to boards. So if I go to view as a board, you, you can see I jumped here. If I say view as a backlog, I jump here. So let's go to boards first. If I go to new item, I will have a possibility just to give a name of that item. But what, what kind of item is it? Is it bug? Is it story? What is it? Well, it depends. So you will see this purple line here because I'm creating feature here. If I want to create epic, first of all, I should be aware that I should here choose epic. And if I go to new item, you will see this orange line, which is the same color as epic. And I can here put epic name, just the epic name. Or I can use this one, user story. And if I go to new item, I will see this blue line, the same thing as uh, the same color as a story has. So that is not a good place to create an item. You can do it, but you can only create an item with a name, no matter if you are creating epic feature or whatever, or user story. And uh, you will have then choose that item, jump into it, and fill or other things like assignee or whatever you want. If I go to backlog, okay, I can go to new work item. So you will see this is feature. So why? Because I here have features. If I go here, new work item, also features. So the same thing. If I go to epics, if I say new work item, I will see that I'm creating epic, unlike here in boards, that I will not see what I'm creating. I will see uh, this blue line and I should take a look here. Oh yeah, I'm creating a story, which is inconvenient. In the backlog, View. If I go here, I can see that I'm creating epic, so I cannot choose here. Okay, I want to, let's say, create user story. As a simple as that, I should go here and say user story, and then new work item, this is user story. Now, in Sprint, I don't recommend that you're creating items because you are creating items for that particular, sp particular Sprint, okay? So, you are creating user story for this sprint. So never ever use this except if you want 
in particular sprint, create the task for that particular sprint, okay? And I will show you when we are, uh, we will come to sprint, sprint's explanation. Not today, of course. So where should I go? Here, work items. So let us create a work item like, for example, Epic. And let's say, for example, that I want payrolls. Okay, this is the huge. Okay, I made a mistake. Payrolls. Great. What can I put here? I can put here assignee. I can put a tag. So let's say tags. I, I will explain tags. Add tag. And tag can be anything. And you have, can have as much as tags you want. So let's say that this is, uh, this tag is, let's say, urgent or whatever it can be it can be uh, 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 it can be you can uh, add uh, for example uh, team uh, team uh, a name which doesn't make a sense or whatever needs approval or whatever and and I don't like I don't like them okay but let's say urgent okay now I can put the state I can choose a state and state is new reason is new Area, which is explained, is it is payments, pay, uh, payments, receivables, but I will not use areas in my projects because they are here because I explained in areas uh, in my video number six, but I will, use, uh, I will not use area for simple project. I will use just this one, the top area. Iteration, so I can choose among my sprints which are created, but I'm not going to put it directly to the sprint. Here, I can put description and I can say, okay, this is the epic which contains, which, okay, which contains everything about payroll okay and i can say here i want to make it i can put whatever i want here it doesn't make a sense but okay i can put the picture okay priority is a field which priority do i have the, which is priority of this epic? Let's say one. Risk can be high, medium, low, but also can be changed. I will say this is high risk epic because if we fail with payrolls, our employees will have wrong pay payrolls, etc., etc., and we will not pay taxes or whatever. Effort can be done here, but I don't want to. Business value is this time critically. Yes or no, start, plan, start date, uh, plan A, end date, and is it business or architectural uh, uh, classification? I will say this is business classification, and here I can add link, but I will not, and I can save it. So, now, finally, I have one, one, uh, uh, one, let's say epic which is finally created now i can go back i'm here i can go back to work items and i will see payrolls is here in my work items in backlog if i go here if i see epic i will see that it's new if i go in backlog you i will see if i go to epics i will see back uh, uh, epic so it is visible now. So let me create a feature. What kind of feature can we have? Okay, so we can go back in, in work items and we can say new work item feature and we will say that new, this new feature is, okay, let's say uh, payrolls, for 
domestic employees. So let's say that we have two kinds of employees, which are domestic, which are paying in our country, they are paying taxes in our country, and we have payrolls for, let's say, another an, uh, from foreign uh, uh, workers, let's say that I, am, uh, I work from, uh, uh, for United States uh, or Great Britain or German, uh, German company, which pays me in Croatia. Okay, let's say. And I can put here description and you will see that I have more or less the same thing. So this feature is about payrolls about, of course, payrolls for domestic employees. Okay, and I will go to save. Or I can link it. So if I want to link it now, I'm going to link it to existing item or I can create, or, or I can create a new item, existing item. And I will say, is this link child or parent? Okay, it can be uh, child, duplicate, parent, but I will now, for this video, I will just show you the relationship parent and child. I will say, link type parent, and I will choose payrolls. Okay, and I will say, okay, now, when you are here, I will save it. You can see that I have payrolls for domestic employees, which have parent as a payroll. Let me create another item back. Payroll for foreign employees, new work item feature. And let me put here payroll, payrolls for foreign employees, okay? And I will say this feature is for payrolls for foreign employees, okay? course, employees. I will not add a link. Why? I will show you. So if I go back, I see that I have payrolls and payrolls for foreign employees, for domestic employees, etc., etc. I don't see parents here and I will show you in, in uh, next video how to do that. But let's say that we want payrolls for foreign employees to create as a child of payrolls. If I go to payrolls, epic payrolls, once again, epic payrolls here. If I go to epic, I will see that this epic has one child, which is payroll for domestic employees. Now I will add a link, existing item, and I will say link type is not parent, but it is child, and I will say, okay, payroll, for foreign employees, and I will click on OK. Now you will see that I have, for this epic, two child, which has payrolls for domestic employees, payroll for foreign employees, and if I go back for, to, sorry, save, don't forget to save, if I go back to, let's say, payrolls for foreign employees, I will see that this epic is a child for uh, uh, is a child of payrolls epic. Now, okay, we have a lot of fields here. Some of them we need, some of them we don't need. What if we want to customize this screen? Not only for a feature, but also for for uh, epics, user story, etc., etc. So that will be the a part of my next video. So here you see 
that you can multiple ways, in multiple ways, create an item. But the best way, from my point of view, is from work items, but you also can do it from boards, from backlogs, and directly from project. Okay, I hope th this was helpful. Thank you very much. See you soon.